Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining us. We're here with Mark St. Clair of Celebrity Home Loans. And he is going to talk to us today about a really awesome fire program. We have been very, very, uh, we have been waiting a long time for some good fire programs, and it looks like we just got one. So Mark, you want to take it away and let us know what's going on? Absolutely. So one of the things that I'm able to offer right now, which is really a great product for people looking to buy a home. There, there's a lot of down payment assistance programs out there, but this one I think really, really does what it is intended to do, which is in a lot of instances, help people to buy a home with little to no money out of pocket. Um, so the, the program that I'm talking about is the Hometown Heroes program. And it is a really great program for first-time home buyers. Now, let me let me run a qualification on that. First-time home buyer doesn't mean the first time that you're ever buying a home, but if you haven't owned a home in the last three years, um, you qualify as a first-time home buyer. The Hometown Heroes program is designed to help first responders, teachers. Uh, medical people, everything like that. There, I've, I've got a whole slew of, of occupations that 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 qualify. But one of the really really neat things about this particular program is that in a lot of instances, like if I work with like a state bond program, it's limited to ten thousand dollars as far as assistance towards everything. Um, there's income qualifiers that usually you have to make like 80% of what's called AMI, which puts you at about, you know, 68 to $72,000 is, can be the maximum income that you have. And they have to include everybody in the household in that income. In this particular program, you'll see like all the different counties and what the income limits are. For the county that I live in, which is, is Pinellas County, um, you can see that the income limit is 123150 on an annual basis. The other good thing about this is that the person qualifying for the loan can make that amount of money and we don't have to bring in anybody else into the household's income into the picture. So That's nice. What the program does, and you're going to see like the purchase limits, I believe Sorry. if I remember correctly, are like $647,000. Yep, $647,200 looks like. Unless it's an FHA, which the maximum yes. loan amount or purchase amount is $420,000. Yes, I see that. VA, uh, FHA, and then you've got conventional. VA, I don't think falls under the, the FHA. Yeah, it, it falls over there in the category with conventional. Yeah. So, so you can use this program now. What it does is it provides up to 5% of the loan amount as assistance towards down payment, closing costs, everything like that, um, to a maximum of $25,000. And especially in a situation for a veteran, let me run another qualifier. A veteran does not have to be a first time home buyer to utilize this program. That's, I, I like that. They deserve a break, you know? That's absolutely. So, and so you can utilize this. And with a veteran, you know, here, here's another really neat thing. So let's say you're buying a home $500,000 with a VA loan your 100% finance. So the whole purchase is financed. There's usually a funding fee that gets financed over top unless you are 10% or better disabled through the Veterans Administration. So if you're 10% or more disabled, you don't have that funding fee and then you could utilize on a $500,000 purchase, $25,000 to pay your closing costs. That includes, you know, lenders fees, title fees, escrows for taxes and insurance, governmental fees, and that's probably going to cover the full boat. So essentially, you could get into a $500,000 house with no money out of pocket. That's absolutely astonishing to me. And Hey, Mark, and, can, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but 
uh, in that within that five percent um gift of the purchase could you buy down the rate can you do other creative things or is it only certain things that the money can be applied towards so because the program is issued it used to be issued up until october 3rd it was issued by u.s bank it's now issued by a company called lakeview and i think the interest rate is what it is as far as utilizing i don't think you can discount the rate through through using points to buy the rate down okay. but you know something that you might be able to do let's say in the in the event of a conventional loan if you've got enough money in the kitty to be able to do it one of the things you could do is maybe pay what's called a single premium mortgage insurance which is one of the things i think is the greatest benefit so right now in the in the mortgage industry and in the housing industry one of the biggest things is affordability. And we touched on that yeah. a little bit last week. Right. Probably, and, and we, we touched on it last week once again, that I think that if you could do a single premium mortgage insurance payment, that does more for the buyer to save them money on their monthly payment right. than say if they were to ask the seller to lower their purchase price by $25,000. Yeah. I mean, it, it's... You know, I'm, I'm seeing in a lot of cases on conventional where the mortgage insurance on a monthly basis is more than FHA. Just to give you an example, like on a $350,000 purchase, your mortgage insurance could be as much as $200, $250 a month. If you were to get $25,000 off of your purchase price, that only saves you maybe $150 a month. So, so there's a little bit of a difference there. So if you've got money left over from paying closing costs, down payments, everything like that, the only exception would be FHA because FHA now has mortgage insurance that used to be back in the old days that it fell off at 78% of your original purchase price. But with the Dodd-Frank bill, what they did was they made it that mortgage insurance stayed on for the life of the loan unless you do a 15-year term and then I think it stays on still for 11 years from that. So, yeah, I think, um, you know, the great thing about this down payment um, gift or grant, I guess, well, actually it's not, it's a second, it's a second mortgage, right? How does that work? It's truly a second mortgage. You know, when they say that the, nothing's free in life, it, it, right. it's, the, <laughs> it's, it's the same with this, although it's, it's beneficial to you and you can utilize it up front. It's not completely forgiven. So what happens is that they you can utilize this program and you get a 0% 30-year deferred second mortgage. And there's no payments on it due through the whole 30-year term if you stay in your original loan for 30 years. If at any time during your 30-year term you were to sell the property, or you were to refinance the property, the amount of this second mortgage would become due at that point in time. Okay. If you stay in the loan for 30 years, when you finish the 30 year term, the amount of this second mortgage becomes due as well. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm glad, I think... glad you brought that up because I, I was going to make mention of that, but, but you drew it out of me. So thank you for that. <laughs> well, you know what? It's important because um, there are gifts and grant programs, but they are not nearly this substantial. Right. Um, and so in order to be able to have some kind of substantial relief in this market, because this is a crazy market, you know, and the prices are really high and for buyers to even to be able to afford to get into a house, they've got to have a lot of money saved up to make a purchase. Absolutely. This, and this helps them and they could probably use that money they saved up. Um, if they can't get the seller to um, prepay for their mortgage insurance, they can buy rate. You know, this gives them opportunity to examine their loan and see how they can lower their costs, you know, with their their money set aside in addition to this to get them into the house. You know, it gives them more power. Absolutely. If, if you're looking at a standard purchase, whether that be FHA, uh, conventional, for a... $250,000 to $300,000 purchase, 
you're probably looking at coming 20 to $25,000 out of pocket. So you can see where this would be a benefit. Let's say you were doing a $300,000 purchase conventional with 3% down, you know, that, that down payment is $9,000. I usually tell people to look at 3% in closing costs and one and a half percent in establishing escrow. So that's four and a half percent. There once again is another 13, five plus your nine. So you're talking $22,000 only with a 3% down payment. So yeah, as you can see, and, so as and, you can see yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm, I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry, go ahead. So, so as you can see, even on, on a $300,000 purchase, with 3% down, that's 291,000 as the loan amount. 5% of that, I'm trying to do the math in my head, but that's roughly about, um, I'm, going to, I'm going to say a little better than $15,000 to contribute to that. So that makes your now $9,000 payment and roughly $6,000 towards your, your closing costs and prepaid, so. Right, and I think, you know, right now we're looking at our, um our median home prices are skyrocketing into the 400,000, <laughs> you know, right, so right. we do see some cooling off in the market. I don't think we're at a crash level yet or anything like that, but the uh, prices are cooling. The sellers are trying to meet the market down a little bit. And with this program, it allows the buyers to have, um, I think it gives them more confidence walking into making an offer with a seller, Absolutely. you know, and that they can present this along with um, their pre-approval, which is also critical. And right. also my next question is, how do they get vetted for this program so that when they do present an offer, they can show a seller, okay, so this is my offer and this is uh, my pre-approval and I am going through this program and I have been approved or, or you know, what is that process there? So... Really, it, it's very simple. So my process has always been the same. You've worked with me in the past. So what I normally do is it's about a 15 minute conversation. Um, I, I take basic information, two years worth of your residence history, two years worth of your income history, a little bit in regards to assets, whether we're using them or not. Sometimes I get a little better approval by showing a good asset listing. It's a couple set of government monitoring questions to make sure that I'm following all fair lending practices, date of birth, social security number. I put that into the system, pool credit, take a look at debt to income ratios, and we can talk more about that maybe in, a, in a, another, another Zoom call that we do here. But yep. based on that, I run it through. So everything that happens in this industry goes through one of three automated underwriting systems. There is a desktop underwriter, which is Fannie Mae's system. Uh, there is Loan Prospector, which is Freddie Mac's system. And then there is Gus, which is USDA system. Um, all of those provide, based on information that has been entered into the system, um, you know, whether you're approved um, and Usually once I get that approval, I will send out the first page of those findings to you as the, as the buyer's agent, to the buyer, as well as a pre-approval letter so that they can walk in with confidence to that seller and say, here, I've already been, my, my income documents have been reviewed. Uh, my credit has been reviewed. It's been through a automated underwriting system. It just needs to get to a physical underwriter all I need to do is find a property and Mr. Seller, I would like to buy your property. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And this is, these are my credentials for doing that. You know, I've been pre-approved. I am part of this program. They say they're going to give me this money. And so it adds, it just makes that buyer's uh, offer stronger. And that's, you know, we really have come a long way in the last couple of years of really trying to bulletproof our offers when we submit offers to sellers and being a listing agent, that's what I'm looking for. I am looking for um, this buyer to be fully vetted and for me to be able to make a phone call to someone like Mark and say, hey, uh, can you tell me a little bit about what you did to pre-qualify or pre-approve this person? And they can give me some generalities. They can't give me specifics, right? They can't give me detailed information, 
but they can tell me what they have done to vet the person and they can speak to any programs uh, that they're affiliated with or that they're using, et cetera. And that, that goes a long way with the seller, you know, because we've got to be able to um, lay all of the benefits out of this buyer and going with the buyer. And this make, it makes for a strong buyer when they're like, I've got my closing costs covered. I've got my loan covered and I'm ready to go. So it makes it, it makes it important. I know you're a busy guy and I want to thank you so much, Mark, for carving out time for us. I know that you have people chomping at the bits at 10 AM, uh, no doubt to get your attention. So well, you, you heard my phone ring <laughs> I answered it and shut it down. So, but uh, it's, it, it's hard to shut off. You're in the middle of your week, you know? So uh, you got a lot of people, but I did want to just say, I love your glasses. It matches my <laughs> theme here. <laughs> absolutely. Well, I thought I would feel a little beachy today myself. So <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. We're never, we're never above feeling beachy here. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Mark directly. I'm going to have his contact information linked in the video below. If you have any questions for me, I'm going to have my information down there too. If you'd like to sign up for my weekly newsletter so that you can be uh, on top of each and every video that we release, talking about all kinds of things and everything to do with buying real estate, then please send me your email address and I will add you to the list. I thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for having me again, Debbie. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right. Talk to you guys later.